I said. All right, hold on, guys. Uh, thank you for that on the overpass. That's fine. Also, just to let you know, we're in constant contact with the Ohio Valley. We're also in contact with Warren County, Sandusky, Florida, Arizona, New Mexico, Washington, and most of the fire teams and militias in Oklahoma as well. If you have a general stand down on orders right now. Correct. I understand everybody's uh, willing and anxiousness, but right now, with the unorganized militia, we cannot go traipsing across state lines. We have to let Nevada, Jason Peter Smith, and the Lightfoot groups in Nevada run the lead on this, and we have to get coordinated. We've already set up a liaison officer between Bundy and everybody on the ground down there that's going to speak to the militia. We cannot go in unabetted without call from Nevada. Understandably. Everybody's frustrated. We understand everybody is tense at the moment. Do not run up there as a band of people armed. The Bundys have said if you show up, do not come up in your BDUs. I speak as a standpoint as a militia man, not as a sovereign citizen tonight. My duty is to the people of North Texas and their security, but we will not let our brothers go undefended in the North. But at this time, all of Texas that I have talked to, 37 different militia groups, we're on a general stand-down order. That does not mean we are not mobilized and ready to go, but at this moment we are not crossing state lines. Correct, correct. The Texas Coastal Unit down here on the Gulf where I'm at is on a standby. Thank they, you. Has Tony, has uh, Ash Mouth or the Citizens Militia checked in from Texas yet, please? We have the Roughnecks. If, if we could get a sound off of the militia units before this thing gets rolling, I'd really appreciate it. We make sure who's on board. If not, after the call, me and my other liaisons and admins that we have, we will work to get this information out. Thomas Short and Skin. This is uh, Seth Neal from the uh, Thomas. Oklahoma Defense Force out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we're uh, unrepresented. Mike Shrum, 28th State Militia. This is Threeper 65, your nationwide Gadsden Air Corps. Hey, what the Michigan Wolverine State Militia? Hey, Scott Woods and Christian Yangling here. Okay, got Kelly D. Gordon, Lone Ranger, down in Hidalgo County, Texas. Hey, Kelly. Dave from Hutari. Welcome, Hutari. Gunslinger. Sweeper. Diana Swan. Still everyone just coming in, introducing themselves yet. The Patriot, Georgia. Dallas Goodman, Zone 34, Missouri. Eric James, Mississippi. Thank you, Nick. Uh, yeah. Okay, where's the cord, though? Western Colorado Patriot. Western, you get. Texas Militia, North Texas on the line with a bunch of other counties from Texas. You've got uh, units from other states as well. Captain Philip Doggin, Missouri Citizen Militia, State Executive Officer. Uh, Delaware Online, uh, not affiliated with a militia, but uh, Oath Keeper, 3 percenter. We're all patriots, brother. Amen on that. Captain. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 
people are uh, as people are getting in the call, can I ask a question? This is Thomas again. Go ahead. This is the host. This is Robert McLeod, Redneck in South Georgia. Hey, McLeod. Who, who is Ryan Payne? Where is he from? Is he not a Nevada militia member? Stand by. I'll give you the intel on that. Ryan Payne is a member of Op- Operation Mutual Assistance. He's from Pennsylvania. He's on ground. Eddie, intel officer, NYR. Yes, and the uh, the Clevens are uh, the Bundys are supposed to put an announcement out on their blog stating that he's going to try to be the liaison officer between all the groups uh, as point of contact with the militias. We're working very hard to get him vetted as such now. Okay, I've been talking to him for two days, and he's blowing me up right now. Um, Everybody turn their stereos and radios and speakers down, please. This this whole conference call thing works better if everybody puts your speakers on mute while somebody else is talking. Who's the moderator on the call? Howdy, this is Redneck with CRM. All right, check it out, guys. This is Brian Free the People Do Zek. Uh, I am amazed that that many people showed up. We've got almost 50 people on this call right now uh, from all over the country. So props to all of y'all for uh, chiming in right now. Obviously, uh, in this time and era, it is impertinent that the lines of communications are open. Uh, we are getting feedback from many different areas. Most importantly, we need someone to chime in that is on scene, and we are waiting for that. Uh, some people headed that way. We've got other people that want to hear that uh, everybody stands down. We've got other people that are sending people out. The goal of this call is just to see how many people we can at least get on the same flipping page. There's too much bad intel out there, not enough good intel. If anybody can chime in that at least was on scene, isn't on scene, um, huge. Uh, I've got it in lecture mode right now. Only I can speak, and I've got three people muted that were uh, muted that were having excessive background noise. Um, if you guys actually hit the key code, you can mute yourself out. Um, and this way, if you've got feedback, babies crying in the background, I'm going to go ahead and mute you. If I see that, I can see that from this control panel. Um, from that point, I'm going to turn this into Q&A session. Um, in about 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and let it be open free call. That was working decently. If you do hear somebody trying to chime in and get a word in, please be polite. You know, show some humanity and let them chime in. We're all going to extend this as long as we have to. Uh, we've now got 46 people on the call. A couple just dropped out for whatever reason. If you're having issues, just go ahead and call right back in. Um, we can handle up to 1,000 calls. I don't know how many of you guys are online or laying low or whatever the case is, but I highly recommend uh, if you guys get a chance to uh, go ahead and keep sharing this to people, friends list, let's get as many leaders as we can on board so that there's no misunderstandings. This could turn into a giant clusterfuck in the next 48 hours if we don't be careful. I personally see this as a precipice for what's to come. Uh, we know that we've got American Spring right around the corner. I personally feel that this is getting a little bit out of hand. Uh, it sucks that it's a land grab. It sucks what's going on. It sucks that the feds have uh, who they have there, but uh, as, a, uh, as it was mentioned earlier on this call, uh, before 9 o'clock, people need to understand that when you're sending your militia to another state, if you are not a resident of that state, although you may be accepted as an associate with that state militia, you are out of bounds. Um, as of right now, I represent uh, some of the guys with the uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty. We've had over 50 states uh, that I'm counting right now, if I'm not mistaken, chime in. So please try to get other states in here on board. I expect this uh, call to continue into the next few hours. Um, it is being recorded, and I will be uh, putting up a broadcast of this call again in the near future. So you've seen uh, the main uh, posts that are going on all over the Internet right, though, right now. Those lead back to me, uh, Brian Free, the people, and I'm hosting this call. Um, I don't want to call it an emergency, but obviously we are in a state of red alert in many states across the country. Um, last count that I'm at is 15 or 20 states are now in uh, DEFCON 1. Everybody's getting a little antsy, so my objective here is to calm people down, uh, get us all on the same page, ASFP, and I am now putting 
this call back into open lecture for the next 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully somebody right now, as soon as I unmute this, is going to be able to chime in, let everybody speak. If you are now on scene, please go ahead and I need you to speak. What's going on? This is Hello? Am I speaking with someone on the conference call? Yes, ma'am, you are. Okay, uh, look up in shalereporter.com. BLM sells 29 oil gas leases in northeast Nevada. Buyer snapped up 29 federal land leases totaling more than 50 square miles in the northeastern Nevada area. I think that's your answer to his, his uh, cavalry taken off. Ma'am, could we have that link again? Okay, it's, it's jailreporter.com. Or, or just com. I can't see the dot, but maybe it's dot com. Could you spell that, please? Uh, yes, S H A L E, jail. Hello? Reporter. Hello. And dot com. I can send it to you if you, if you have a place I can send it, you know, uh, uh, share it with you. I'm sharing it right I've now. I've got it, shalereporter.com. Yeah. Is that you, Jay? No, ma'am. My, my name is Dave Pappas. I'm in Illinois. Okay, okay. I know Dave. Yeah, I have the Illinois son. Okay, and I'm, I'm afraid for my life now because I've already spread this to a couple of people, you know, old keepers. So, could you keep me in mind? BK okay. Peters. Okay. Robert Redneck McLeod, Jr. in South Georgia just shared it. Yeah, I had to wait. The only thing I've seen was just the number. Brian Duzek, are you out there? Yeah, I'm on. Uh, Brian, this is Dave, Mr. Ratman with the Illinois Suns. What's up, brother? I know who you are. Did everybody you, get that you. so I can get Shalereporter.com, um, yeah, ma'am. I've got that. Has everybody else got that? Yes, we sir. need everybody to turn down their speakers on their computers, please. Yeah, it says Reno, Nevada. You know, it's AP. Are you currently in Reno, ma'am? Are you currently in Nevada? No, I can't say where I am because the government hacks me. They gotcha, tried to keep gotcha, me gotcha. putting. They put me. Tried to keep me from putting this out so many times. I finally got it through. Okay, if we could go on the vetting part about on ground there at the ranch, we've had confirmed reports, unconfirmed reports that we have Apache A H sixty four helicopters too that have LM. You're gonna kill somebody there to keep this from going through, I bet. You know, so be careful. Be very careful. Okay, can I go now? I'm sorry to interrupt you, ma'am, but I had no idea what's going on. I just seen the number and it said in my receipt, so I really don't know what's going on. I just called to see what what was going on. Oh, well, I was just reporting that BLM sells 29 oil gas leases in northeast Nevada. BLM, and that was uh, from the shellreporter.com. So everybody uh, yes. look that up, all right? Can somebody me, ma'am? I think yeah. the moderator was asking, though, who's on the ground there? Who's actually on site? I'm right? trying to get I'm trying to get Ryan Payne on the phone right now. He's talking to me on Facebook. I'm trying to get him to join our call now. He is he is boots on the ground. Okay, I'm going to give up. Um, you you take care of that. And you tell them to be safe. Thank you. Hey, yeah, uh, I need to start. Hold on a second, guys. This is Brian, the host of the call. Uh, if we can get that gentleman on the phone in the near future, give me the last four digits of uh, his number, and I can go ahead and set it up as a Q&A session so we can ask him direction, uh, questions directly and uh, mute out everybody else. We're getting some feedback. Again, if you're on the phone right now, if you're in, uh, if you're like that guy and you've got uh, stuff going on in the background, I need you to press star six. Star six, mute out your phone so you're not interrupting this call. Brian, it's not, it's not like there was just more than a few folks that are trying to figure out what's going on. Could you bring us up to speed on the situation? Uh, could you put my name down, BK 
Peters. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. B.K. Peters, and I'm the I'm reporting something I found about BLM. They bought up 56 square miles in the northeastern Nevada area for for fracking. Man, if you could turn off your speaker. Huh? Hello. This, hello. This. This, okay, just remember my name. Not about fracking. The issue is about the land grab that they've made with the Bundy Ranch and with the cattle grazing. I know, but BLM. No, I'm, tell, I'm trying to tell you. Hello, I can. BLM sells 29 oil gas leases. Bam, we know. We know. Bam, we are completely. Right now, I'm spread it around. Spread it around. I'm going. I'm going now, okay? Okay. Okay, I can make a difference. I can make a difference. If I may, this is Sleeper with Illinois Sons of Liberty. If I may, somebody has this on speakerphone and we're getting a lot of. No, put your phone on you. If you've got a dog in the background, press dog kicks right now. Everybody, please stop. Please. We are in contact with people on the ground. We are in contact with people on the ground. Christopher Rupert. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yes, I hear you. Lima Charles. Lima Stephen Stewart. Yes. We are getting a lot of feedback. Somebody has us on um, speakerphone, and we're getting a lot of feedback. You let someone listen on our computer speakers. Here, please, 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 please. My suggestion is that those that are not talking put their phones on mute. Something. Hello. That's ridiculous. Hello. Hey, Brian, this is Colonel T. Hello. We are en route to Nevada at this point in time. I am in contact with boots on the ground. Everyone hear me? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We hear you. What's your, what, what's your name and what's your location? Okay, this is Scott Woods. Okay, right now we are uh, just on the Kansas border. We are just going to go around here. We can get in contact with Brian Payne and Black is on site. Okay, um, we have received a report that the snipers on scene are black water. What is happening here is a the lady that was just beaten about about BP drilling and black this is the corporate takeover black water has been contracted out. This, 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 has, this, this has been confirmed from green on the ground in Iraq. I, re- I apologize. I read her and I read her. The first three of the faculties on the ground have been identified as black water operatives in Iraq. Brian. 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 Brian, may I ask you something? Can you mute everybody else except for the guy that is talking in route? I'm working on it, man. Horrible feedback. All I got was that they, they said there was possibility of black water being on the ground out there. Yes, he said black water is on the ground out there. The snipers from our, that are on the ground are from black water. Hey, Brian Duzak. Brian. This is Colonel T. Mac. Do you know how many maps we have out there? How many play patches? How many mercy numbers? What's the numbers? We are in Chicago. We are here. We are watching. Stand by. Okay, what was that? Do we have yeah, a time? Uh, <laughs> so we have. So what I'm getting from this is we have confirmed Blackwater is on the ground at right now on the property. That is what the gentleman that is in route just said, yes. Understood. Do we have any confirmation on the earlier report of 62 foreign troops out there? No. Ain't going to like it anyway. Hello, guys. How are you doing? 
Good. Good. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. So the report that's going around about the family being arrested, is that confirmed? I have not heard nothing of that yet. I know the negative. son was arrested. I know the son was arrested. Listen up. Take your phones off, please. My name is Eric Ron. I am the chairman of the United American Militia Advisory Council. Oh, I'm out. Also on the staff of Joint Task Force Glass Antler, which is a militia intelligence that you heard about family members was has been twisted around. It was actually protesters off into federal property. They were arrested over Bunkerville. Okay. 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 So no family or no family arrested, only protesters. That is correct. This is Commander Lee of the Arkansas Defense Force. I'm going to have someone on the ground tomorrow. Who all do we have that have units with boots on the ground in Nevada right now? There was a gentleman en route that was just talking to somebody with boots on the ground, trying to get him to join the conversation. Uh, he has not done that as of yet. His name, his name was Scott. Scott, are you still out there? I believe we lost him. He was uh, starting to break up as he was moving, so he, we probably he probably dropped the call. They need to see if they can help retired Lieutenant Colonel Roy Thomas. He is somewhere reporting. Lieutenant Colonel Roy There's almost a thousand people on this boat. Hey, uh, Brian, this is uh, Colonel T Mac with the Sons of Liberty. Yo. Hey, uh, can you uh, can you give me a chance to talk real quick? It is yours. All right, thank you. Hey, uh, so essentially, what the purpose of this call was when uh, me and Brian decided to make a call out across the nation to get the militia groups together was to just kind of get a general feeling for uh, me being the state commander of the Illinois militia across the country, trying to see what other militia commanders do, what they were feeling about the situation. You know, how we wanted to proceed as uh, a national unit, you know, to make sure we're all on the same page. You know, that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. I've been talking about, you know, different reasons why it's happening and things like that. It's, you know, it might be a little bit besides the point that's something we can sort out afterwards. You know, right now the issue is we have uh, units from across the country, you know, driving to being on site at this, uh, you know, place in Nevada where there's potential for confrontation, or potential for a lot of negative, bad things to happen. You know, we need to have a unified response, a unified message behind the actual causes to what's happening. So if there's any other leadership out here, I'd, I'd appreciate anybody else's response and how you feel regarding the situation and what would be merited given the situation. This is Eric Ron, the uh, UAMAC chairman. At this point in time, um, the reason why units are needing to go in that direction is because this is a Ninth and Tenth Amendment issue. Um, it's about institutional rights, and that's the reason why militia units should be out, out, out about at all. It's not about tortoises. It's about eminent domain. It's about ninth, tenth amendment rights because you got the Fed in and taking over chunks of land and the county sheriff who should be sitting up and doing something about it isn't. May I speak? You may, sir. Yes, this is a uh commanding officer of 28th State Militia from Texas, um, Major Sean Watson. I just wanted to let you know that uh, I just wanted to do a comms check real quick and uh, let you know I'm here. Thank you. At this time, uh, we are at cold code yellow, uh, which is ordinary for us. Um, 
I just wanted to let you know that, and we're standing by for any intel or uh, and see how the situation goes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody explain to me what's going on. Hello, Redneck. Redneck's here. Hey, Redneck. How you doing, buddy? All right. All right. Yeah, 52 in your J, man. I'm listening in for the USM. We'll see what's going on here. I, I, I'll say the same thing that I said a while ago. Uh, does anybody uh, want to take, want to take the floor and explain what is, what's going on to this uh, gentleman that keeps asking? Does anybody know if there's a way to send some supplies out there to help the protesters and more for that already there? Is there something that I'm not going to do that will be done? Why the Bureau of Land I'm about to. Hang on a second. I'm working on that, dude. Don't do that again, dude. I believe he's the one that's got the computer. Ryan, this is, this is that man again. What the hell is the point of order? Can I take the floor for a second? For a second? Do, it. It's all yours. do it. All yours. All right. The simple point is, is regardless of whether the family failed to pay the BLM tax, which shouldn't have to pay anyway because they've been on that property since the late 1800s. So that's completely irrelevant at this point in time. The simple fact of they didn't take a buyout back in 93 that all the other ranchers from that property took, shortly right after that, they said, hey, this is a restricted habitat for the stupid tortoise. Now, if this was such an issue, why in the world is it taking 21 years for them to all of a sudden go in and take cattle illegally off this guy's property? Because that's natural rights. That's human rights. It's public land. It's not land for them to say, oh, this or that or whatever. His family's been there. I mean, that's back in homestead time. Can I can I offer to answer that question for you, sir? I, I Go for it. I'd like to point out. My, my name's Jake Taylor. Uh, not really in a leadership position, but I got a call to be here. We didn't go too earlier. I believe you spoke about the reports you read. The BLM in Twain Shale leased up in northeastern Nevada, that is into effect is that Bundy is the last man that, that you know, ranches on this uh, lease that they have, and it is a federal lease. As you know, while the oil industry has exploded due to the recent approval of fracking, uh, BLM stands to make a substantial amount of money by supplies leased to for 20 something years and come to a head already if that had not been proven out. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Uh, can I ask your question here? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Whether it's the tortoise, whether it's the fracking, whether it's the whether it's the uh, the constitutional rights or the property rights going back to the 1880s, what is our stand? What are we going to do? I'm sitting here in Illinois along with Colonel T. Mack and Brian and uh, all the rest. What does that take? What is our stand? That's the same thing I've been trying to figure out myself. I'm the president of the Three Percenters Group for Colorado Springs area, and I have about 20 guys on standby just waiting to find out what's actually going on 
before I move anybody. May I say I'm something? You, sir, May I speak now? This is Redneck. Let okay. okay. Redneck speak. Okay. okay. I sit on the heartbeat of USM, United States Militia, all 50 states. We can, we can activate people from all the states with one post. This is the thing I want you to understand. As U.S. citizens, if you don't stand up now just as a U.S. citizen, not as a militia, but as a U.S. citizen, how far are you going to let them push the next time? I can promise you, if I was within 100 miles or 300 miles of that place, and they tased that woman yesterday or the day before, I would have been in jail for them tasing that 67-year-old grandmother. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. 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 I'm with you. My thought is, you either do as a militia or you do as a citizen. Either way, you need to do. Do not sit there and contemplate it. Go do. If I could, I would in a heartbeat. Anybody, anybody within 300 miles needs to go. Do we have anybody in this conference call right now that is there on the ground? Show your flag. Show your flag. No, sir, we do not have anyone on the ground right now, and the call is, uh, I believe, um, we were waiting for somebody to get in the call that is on the ground, but that has not happened as of yet. All right. Because they haven't been able to get on? I'm going to have someone on the ground tomorrow. I mean, the simple fact is, is regardless of what our motives are for going in, whether we're walking in there completely unarmed, just whatever, as civilians, or we're moving in as a team, regardless, we need to know what is actually going on physically right now on that farm. Amen. And if they do start firing on people, then, then it will be all hell breaking loose. Understand? Absolutely. Amen. Wouldn't be any other way. Absolutely. My question is, if we're showing up with our out of uniform, unarmed, if they start firing on us, we're not going to have time to get back to our vehicles and get our guns. Amen. Oh, I agree 100%. I would have your, your oh, arm on you. But I, in I, I don't go anywhere without guns, period. Oh, it doesn't matter where I'm going. Agreed there. Right. So the reports I've seen from the reporter on, on the ground there that was involved in yesterday's uh, um, actions, um, he was begging for armed militia to show up to show force and equal the force of the BLM. Now, here's, here's the issue that we're going to run into as well. Regardless of who goes down there, no matter how many people we get down there, as soon as, as, soon as we put boots on the ground as a collective whole, it's going to result in a gunfight, period. It's going to happen. People need to understand that if we all collectively follow through with this, we're opening up the doors for martial law nationwide. And it's not just going to be going there, okay, say we go in there, turns into a gunfight, every single one of us walks away, none of them do. Then what? Then we have to change directions. Hi, Carla. We have a call out of Jacksonville. What is the best option to find out? And that's, that's my other question. What what actually ha- I've kind of been out of the loop for a little bit. I've been up in the mountains, haven't had cell phone service, been able to get a hold of anybody. What happened with the auction that was supposed to take place? It was stopped. The state of Utah okay. stepped in stop. and stopped the Utah. Utah stepped in and said it would affect the $1 billion meat industry, and it would stop. That's why I'm the first one here, Bob. Hey, guys. Uh, Ryan, are you on the line with me? Yes, I am. Okay, guys, I have Ryan uh, Payne. Uh, he is boots on the ground there. 
the spot we were waiting for. My husband can, can we get a set rep? Yeah. Hey, uh, I, I, first, I want to stress to everyone, uh, you know, the Bundys, I, I'm, been, uh, Clive and Bundy has uh, specifically named me as the liaison for between him and the militia that is arriving here. Uh, you know, that, uh, and I want to stress also that this isn't uh, any type of a command position. I, I just am relaying uh, information from him and from the militia back and forth. And uh, and advising him as to what our capabilities are and uh, and, and what plans of action that, that we can lend to the situation. Right now, I, I I also need to stress that everybody who intends on coming to this thing, uh, you know, get off the fence because, uh, for instance, we're just heading back right now. All of the protesters and the Bundy boys all loaded up to go uh, get back three of their brothers who had been arrested. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're going to do this. They don't, they're not taking firearms or anything with them. They have them in the vehicle. Such. But, uh, you know, we're going there. They request that we just stand by right now because we don't have the manpower to do much. Uh, with, we're going with them, fully locked and loaded and uh, full battle rattle. And if anything gets out of hand, then, you know, we will get involved and we will place, place ourselves between, uh, between them to protect them from whatever's happening. But... Uh, we can't really affect much. We literally have, uh, you know, ten to, between 10 and 15 guys between the, the militia that's coming in from uh, from Vegas and and uh, the Keith and from the guys that we've brought in from uh, Utah and uh, Montana. And, uh, you know, so we really need to see a ramp up here. I, I know I've gotten numerous calls. Uh, so far, our, our estimated turnout is expected to be Around 450, uh, and as much as a thousand if uh, if the uh, response is accurate. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be very conservative and say that uh, supposedly there are around 200 people on the road. And until I start seeing people, I can't give you a better estimate. Uh, and as far as the situation here, uh, the uh, the feds are continuing their their roundup of the cattle. Um, the Bundys have requested that we, we conduct reconnaissance operations and start agitating this whole situation uh, with our guys, but we, like I said, we can't do any of that. We have to focus right now on just keeping the protesters and such safe because that's all we have the manpower for. Uh, they, there is a AH-64 gunship uh, at the, the uh, command post for BLM. They have an estimated 200 guys there. We're still pretty firm in that estimate. And uh, their posture is very aggressive. They have stated that they will shoot the Bundys if they attempt to uh, go uh, get their cattle. So the, the situation is growing ever more tense. The protesters are not letting up here. Uh, and, and I'm really hoping that, that our response starts ramping up. The uh, Everyone here is very, very thankful that we're here, that they want to see more of us. They, they, they love the response. Um, we're not Can I ask any a question real any. quick? Yeah, go ahead. Can you confirm that Blackwater's on the ground? No, I cannot confirm that. Uh, once again, okay. I really need people to get here. I don't have time to do the necessary reconnaissance and intel uh, gathering because I'm spending all my time making sure the provisions are good for uh, the people that are here and preparing for the people that are coming. May I ask uh, a question? Are the roads blocked to the ranch? Ryan. Are yeah. the roads blocked? Ryan, this is uh, Polar Assault Oma. I will be heading out Friday from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I should be there sometime Saturday night. Where do those that are coming go to be able to hook up and gather up with uh, the group of uh, militia? You're going to get off on uh, exit 112 off of I-15. <clears throat> are we going go to the south. ranch? No, we're, we're going near the ranch. We're about two miles away on another piece of private property that's near where all the protesters are, have been conducting their protests. Uh, okay. we, we are also in overflow going to have guys on the Bundy Ranch. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, there's another spot that we can camp as well. All of our provisions and stuff right now are coming from the Bundys. 
And uh, if we do start seeing uh, a, a massive amount of people showing up, then we have uh, food and water palletized coming in. Uh, a lot of okay. people are going to donate to this effort. I just don't want a bunch of stuff to start arriving here and no people are here. May I ask okay. a question? All right. Is there any word that the governor is going to call in the, his National Guard, the State National Guard? I only heard rumors, uh, and, and I specifically heard a rumor recently that the National Guard was going to come in and start arresting uh, out-of-staters that were here. Uh, but I, I don't have anything confirmed. That is just a rumor at this point. What about, you know, could I chime in? Yes, sir. Uh, Festus, Matt from 12th Missouri. Um you said there would possibly arrest the people that were there now. What about inbound from out of state? We we have no knowledge of anybody being harassed as they're moving this way. There again, uh, all I have is, is verbal confirmations that people are in route or are going to be in route. And uh, the, the reason that they may not have been uh, confronted so far is because maybe they're not actually on the way. We don't know. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, I've been working on that all day with a few of my guys in my unit, so we're trying to get the stuff rounded up and see if we catch the weekend and the week off for next week and see what happens. So. In Sandwich, Alabama. Go ahead. Yeah, I was listening to see what was going on in Nevada. What's that? I was trying to check see what was going on in Nevada. Mizo- uh, uh, Nevada. I'm tired. I can't talk. <laughs> I got a question. Chris Hubner, yeah. Colorado. I was yeah, go going on in Nevada. What's going on, Chris? There you go. Okay, I have been um, in contact with Boots on the Ground since Monday on this situation, and I've been working with um, with uh, Jason Grizzly, who's been out to the to the uh, to the ranch several times to make sure that the family has got adequate food and water. We have access to professional-grade cameras to set up a communications post on the ranch. Mr. Bundy has given us permission to do this. If we set up cameras and a communications post on that ranch, that way we can have real-life video coverage to document what is going on around that house. Yeah, and and let me stress that we, we we don't necessarily need the coverage at the ranch. The, the ranch is basically serving as an operations center right now, uh, and there's not any type of protests or, or movement going on there. And, and well, also, we can run I, recon. Yeah, we can yeah. run recon and, out of a compost. It, yeah, exactly. That'd be fantastic. Whatever, whatever resources we can get here, we need to get them here. We just need to know where to send the cameras to and who's going to pick them up and Who's going to be responsible for them? These are production-grade cameras. Well, do you have any operators for them that you can send down? Well, I've been in I don't have, I don't have the guys. But... Yeah, I, I don't have the, the manpower to allocate towards it, but I can get some of the uh, – I'm sure I can find somebody in the protesters. There's a bunch of good people down here with a, a lot of different skill sets. Okay, because if I can find somebody to pick these cameras up. I can send a guy over wherever you send them to uh, to secure the cameras and get them over to the the ranch. They'll be coming in from California. Okay, Okay, and where are you sending them to? Ryan, I hey guys, I have to jump in here. Uh, I'm a little late to the, to the phone. I'm not sure if you guys have gotten over it yet or not. This is a redneck out of Texas with CRM. Um, have you guys confirmed it's yet? It's or, uh, in that bottle pack, bottle do I? Uh, yeah, you're getting watched on. Hey, if you're uh, if you're not asking a question or answering one, then if you can keep the line clear, that'd be great. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, have you guys confirmed yet or not if we have foreign troops out there and whether or not they are Russian or Western European? Russian or European? No, there's definitely yeah, we, no Russians or Europeans to my knowledge. Uh, these, uh, my, my take on it is that they're either BLM guys that are highly clustered because they're, they're overly aggressive in their stance or they, have, they are supplemented by some other government agency. 
they do have snipers on the ground. They do have, uh, like I said, uh, a pretty aggressive posture, and there is an Apache gunship sitting on the ground. So they, they've got more than just BLM here. No, I do understand that. We had a uh, we had a team out there from Texas earlier uh, with boots on the ground, and they set up a uh, militia forwarding base, and they had sent us intel that there were 62 uh, 62 foreign troops there, and we were waiting on confirmation. Never heard back from them. They said something about they were uh, in the air at the moment on whether they were Russian or Russian European, but that there was confirmed 62 foreign troops out there. Whether or not they were with the uh, BLM or with uh, Blackwater, I'm not sure. Yeah, and, and if you hear anything on that, then try and let us know. Okay, we'll do. Uh, I'm not at the house right now in mobile. That was uh, that was earlier on the PC. I was just seeing if anybody else has gotten any info on there. Do we have somebody on the line that has boots on the ground there at the yes, moment? Sir. That has boots on the ground where? Yes, sir, at, at Nevada at the ranch. We had Ryan Payne on earlier. Ryan, are you still with us? Yeah, that's. I've been answering the questions. Uh, most of the time, I'm I'm right next to Clive and Bundy quite often, uh, and, and we are working directly with him. As I said before, he has uh, he has released publicly that uh, that I'm the, supposed to be the liaison between him and the militia. He doesn't really care to talk to anybody else at the moment because he's talking to so many people. Oh, oh, you're Ryan. Yeah, I spoke to you last evening. Texas will chime in on that. We have vetted, we have vetted and confirmed that Mr. Payne uh, has been announced as the the Bundys as the spokesman for the militia. Have body on the ground, a commander or a leader of any product. Ryan, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, if everybody hey guys, else, guys, can you use your That'd phones? be fantastic. Larry, you're on cell phone. Get the mute button on your phone. All right. Hey, guys, I had to interrupt real quick. This is Brian. I'm the guy hosting the call, man. Uh, we're up to 87. We peaked out at 95 people here in the room for a minute. There's a lot of background noise going on. So I'm going to ask, if you're not speaking right now, I need you to go ahead and mute out your phone. If you need to know how to do that, I believe that's a star six, and that will just keep it so that we can hear what you're doing in the background. Sounds like a couple of years, some heavy breathers, so if you don't mind backing off from your phone, that'd be great. If you're eating chips or spanking your dog or whatever the case is, please mute your phone right now. Well, this is a serious conversation. All right, guys? I'm going to go ahead and unmute it. And Brian, go ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, Brian, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, this is Commander Z, the Arkansas Defense Force. Uh, do, what kind of communications HF have you got set up there? Uh, we, we do have uh, some comps set up. We're getting a, a freak set established. We will not be releasing that freak set until people hit the ground. Understood. Could you please uh, contact me when those frequencies are available? Those frequencies will not be available until you get here. Yes, I understand that. But when they do become available, could you get those to me? Those frequencies will not be released until you get here. Basically what he's saying, it's not for the public's use. It's for people that are on the ground. Okay. All right, thank you. Now that we've got some coordination, uh, could I request, Ryan, that you go back over what the issues are, what the uh, requests are as far as firearms and the militias that are showing up with firearms? Yes, I will. But uh, right now, our rules of engagement are we are in a, a low posture, and uh, we, are, we are there as overwatch, and if anything gets out of hand, then, uh, then we're going to step in, and uh, all of us here are, are full battle rattle on on standby. Okay, so if we're in a low key posture. Uh, we only have you know a couple of guys wearing beach shoes, and, and everybody else is in civilian clothes. And as soon as we have the manpower to start providing overt security and start doing reconnaissance and such, we will go fully operational, full battle rattle, and have an overt security presence. 
and as well as meeting our other objectives. If you check on uh, Jerry Bruckhart's page, he has a Facebook page. He has released our objectives. I also have to say that our website has been infiltrated, has been hacked, and they are, somebody is releasing statements from our website saying that there is a malicious stand down. That is false. Okay? We, we have a direct request from Mr. Bundy to come with all people willing with all of their equipment. And there are other operations that are being put together as well to, uh, to, to see this whole entire thing through. So we've got extended operations that, that need to be prepared for if you're en route. Uh, we support, uh, Copy that. Um, is CSPLA uh, false, or do you are you aware of that? Because I noticed on the uh, Oath Keeper's site, they were saying to leave your long rifles in your vehicles, which is not very sound, in my opinion, with anybody coming in. But to wear civilian clothes, no camos at all for the Oath Keepers. And um, to, they didn't say nothing about sidearms, but to leave your rifles in your vehicles. Can you know anything on that there? Yeah, I, I saw that statement. Um, with, obviously, we have no control over what anybody's going to do. We're all free free citizens here. Uh, if they don't want their guys to wear shoes, you know, they're representing their organization and they don't want them to have long guns displayed, that's absolutely fine. And, and as I said, we are not displaying long guns at the moment either. We are, we are in a standby posture as far as full battle rattle goes, full combat gear. We are carrying sidearms. Uh, we are maintaining our presence, but it, it is on standby at this moment and, and only if things get out of hand. And that is specifically because of manpower. We just do not have the manpower to maintain an overt presence and, and withstand the, uh, the onslaught that we'll see. And by onslaught, I mean, I mean them coming in and apprehending us, which is obviously with the reason we're here uh, going to turn back because uh, we will not be arrested and, and uh, you know, we will not be stopped uh, from completing our mission, which first and foremost right now is of the Bundy. Question. Yes. Has anyone talked to Sheriff Mack? Yeah, Sheriff Mack, I heard that he was supposedly coming down here. I also heard that Stuart Rhodes was coming down here. They were supposed to be here today. They did not arrive. Uh, other than that, I don't have any information on that. We have made uh, contact with some of the uh -huh. Not, not representatives, but members down here. We have asked them to bring literature and uh, go over to the Best Western and Holiday Inn that the BLM agents and everybody involved are staying at so that they can disseminate them and make them aware of their constitutional oath. Peter, uh, hey, Ryan. Uh, I have a uh, few questions. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, real quick, first of all, do we have an accurate head count of our people on the ground there so far? Well, last night when I spoke to you, we were still waiting on some folks to get there. That's what you're, you're asking if how many militia are here? Yes, sir. Yeah, as I said before, we, we were fluctuating uh, between 10 and 15 at the moment. And that is, that is a, an abysmal number. And I got, you know, we're, we put this call out. I, I do have confirmed numbers from different organizations and from Operation Mutual Aid personnel that there are at least 450 in route, okay? But until I see them here, I can't tell you any of that. So we're, we're, uh, we're in a pretty rough situation at the moment. Okay, uh, real quick, something here is not adding up. We have 28 people on the ground from Texas alone who said earlier that they touched down about six hours ago. Have they not made contact with you? But, and yet, not only have they not made contact with me, which, as I said before, we have people at the checkpoint that are giving them my phone number to get in contact with me and direct them to the militia staging area. So if you have people on the ground, not only have we not seen them anywhere around the area, but they haven't made contact with me. So if you know where they're at, give them my number and tell them to get in contact with me immediately. Will do, absolutely. Okay, now my second question I had, and then uh, I'll get off the horn and just put it on mute. Uh, my second question was, can we set up a some type of current, or uh, not current, but some type of, type of residual communications? My team's on standby right now down here in Texas. 
we're not mobilizing until a shot is fired from the uh, opposition. But we need to have accurate, vetted. I bet you I'll, I'll, I, need a, I need a straight line with you or somebody coordinating out there. When shots are fired, I can mobilize. Well, I, I'll put it to you this way. Uh, we're here, and, uh, and we're, 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 we have, we're going to attempt to secure any bad situation the best we can. And if there are shots fired, you will know about it immediately. I, I, I don't have the ability to set up a direct line with anybody at the moment. You, can, you have my phone number. Uh, it's been disseminated. I'll, give it, I'll put it out right now if you guys want to prepare to copy it. You know, I'm okay. being inundated with phone calls and, and emails such all day that I, I'm trying to answer the best I can. So here's my phone Absolutely. number. All right, thank you, sir. Four, zero, six, five, six, Mary Ellen zero, Butler. two, five, zero, four. Repeat, that please. Was- okay. I will repeat it. And uh, whoever's on the horn that's making all the noise, please mute your Everybody phone. Everybody stand by and let the man talk. I mean, it sounds like they aren't communicating with each other. Supposedly there's 28 on the ground from Texas and others there from others, but they just haven't gotten caught. You're saying that you know of 28 people on the ground? Hey, please repeat your phone number. Yes, four, zero, six, five, six, zero, two, five, zero, four. If you guys need clarification on things after this phone call, then uh, feel free to call me. I'll try to answer as best I can. So if a million people aren't calling you, um, you said you're going to get the word out right away. I'm a little late to the party here. Is there is there a, is there a Twitter feed or something that we can follow, and that way we can get something that pops up that you can just put out to everybody? And uh, here are the kind of work. Yeah, together, right? Terry Brookhart is is putting out the pertinent information. You just to understand something here, okay? Operation Mutual Aid put out the call through, you know, from the bunch at the request of the bunch to the militia and individuals that want to respond from around the country, and Operation Mutual Aid. We don't have the presence here is me and one other guy. We don't have the ability to secure the Bundys, uh, line up all the necessary provisions, get, get all the staging areas set up, and answer all these, uh, you know, keep alive feet going. So we need people on the ground here to do all those tasks as well. We don't just need, uh, you know, guys ready to roll. We need people to handle communications and, and uh, media and all those things. We're doing, I'm doing it alone. Somebody from Pennsylvania helping. So. May I say something? The Go one ahead. problem with um, what the gentleman from Texas said is they're waiting for shots to be fired. By that time, if we're, there are not more boots on the ground when shots are fired, uh, the people we have there will be in dire need of help immediately. Not there's, there's a good chance that we might not be here. There would be a darn good chance that, it, well, it, the battle, the fight would be over before it even began with so few right. on the ground. Oh, I, I Hello. agree. Absolutely. Sir. Yes, sir. May I break in with uh, just a word of warning on who to engage in the media out there? There is a one Pete Santilli of Guerrilla Media Network that could be a possible FBI co-intel pro person. I just want to warn everybody out there at the scene, try to stay away from him. Right, right. There there is somebody here, uh, you know, that, that is representing themselves as media. He did tell me his name was Pete Santelli. I have found out since then that his, he has another name, Eddie Frey, Frey or something like that. Um, we believe he's an infiltrator and, and uh, giving intelligence to the other side. He's been keeping a very close eye on us and avoiding me at all costs. So, yeah, that, not only are there infiltrators here, there's infiltrators all over the uh, – that are that are putting out false information and, uh, and yes, trying to uh, do the, the thing. 
Mr. Santilli himself has uh, obliterated the uh, two million biker march, the trucker march, and anything involved in right. any type of uh, citizen movement. Yep, I, I'm, I'm aware he's uh, both of these guys. Whoever is actually here and uh, Pete Santelli, they're, they're no good. Uh, you know, but we're not really concerned with that at the moment. I, I am releasing uh, press statements. I've, I've, we've been doing radio interviews and such. We're, we're putting out the same information to everybody, so they're going to do what they're going to do, and, and we're going to okay. do what we're going to do. All right, Ryan, Question. thank you. Question. Good question, guys. What what does the uh, what is the is the situation tense right now? Is it? I mean, can you can you see things happening in the future? Do you feel things might happen in the future? What what is your sense of of the situation from here on out? Well, you know, as far as it goes, where the protests are happening, there there isn't any uh, uh, thing going on today. Yesterday, as I'm sure people saw in the videos, uh, they tased uh, Ammon Bundy. They they hit a, a woman with a truck and a man with a truck. They threw a woman to the ground. Um, and, uh, you know, all this stuff was, was pretty much unprovoked physically. Uh, so that, yeah, there is tension. The BLM guys are very tense. They're, they're in a heightened state of, uh, of stress. They, you can tell that they're stressed out every time that they're around, but they are specifically provoking the protesters, okay? They're, they're doing things, you know, right in front of them. Now, the Bundy's here, these guys, they're not going to back down. They're, they're going after them yeah, physically at this point, but, but unarmed, and that's why they requested our assistance in case things do get bad, then we can support them, and I, I have advised them right now, and they're very aware that uh, we do not have the manpower to mount very much of a fight. We will we will do our best and, and uh, to stand in between Hello, them. We will not we Come will not me. back down, but we can't do much right now, guys. Thank you, Ryan. Hey, quick quick question. Go ahead. And this is P with Nightmare over here in New York. Um, has anyone noticed any of these snipers with suppressed weapons? Because my fear is they take a couple of shots with suppressed weapons, we return fire, and then it sounds like we initiated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, as it stands right now, uh, there there are uh, sniper positions and OPs that are observing our our camp and the protesters' positions at all times. But uh, uh, any yeah, of those yeah, weapons are quick. Watchman of Indiana. What I'm saying is, we have yes, any If I may, I'm sorry. That if the shit's going to hit the fan and shots are going to be fired, it's going to be blamed on us regardless of who shoots first. Yes, that's exactly correct. The main, the main exactly. media will spin it. Exactly. Well, 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 yeah, guys, I mean, you're oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm it's, sorry. It doesn't, matter if, it, doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter if there's video footage of the gunship firing on people. It'll be because we fired first. Right. right. What right. I'm just trying to see is if we could get evidence, photo evidence, that these weapons have suppressors on them. Are you, are you asking point. pictures of that or what? What's that? Uh, do you want further evidence he's trying that there's suppressors? What, what he's trying to say is you would have to get pictures of the suppressed weapons out to the alternative media sources that will actually report honestly. We don't have any means of doing that right now. Well, uh, I, I realize that. Yeah, but I agree. Get out there. Bundy, do I understand that there three of Bundy's gentleman. under arrest? No Bundy's are under no. arrest. Okay. No, no Bundy's are under arrest right now. Three were and under there are three people who are Oh, Confirmed 64 foreign troops. Confirmed 64 foreign troops. Nobody's been able to confirm the foreign troops. No, no foreign troops, no confirmation. Okay, thank you. Uh, may I ask a question to the gentleman who has uh, eyes on the ground? Yeah, go ahead. 
Yeah, my name is uh, Corey Robin. I'm the commander of the uh, Gadsden Air Corps up here in Utah. We have an aircraft based in St. George. Do, can you give me uh, the location of an area, you know, GPS coordinates or a physical address of where the main DLM force is located so that we can go get some aerial pictures? Yeah. Now you're talking. Uh, one awesome. second. Let me let me grab the the map here and I'll get you something. Uh, I probably can't give you a uh, a specific, but I can give you a, a distance. Just, if you, if just a street ad address is fine, and then you know I've already sent you a text message, and with that you should have yeah. my return phone number. And you know we've got an aircraft 25 minutes away. We've got four other aircraft up in Salt Lake City, and we're. Uh, you know, those guys are two hours away, and we're fully prepared and trained in doing various things. Uh, don't want to talk about it on this telephone conversation for sure, but uh, what I can say is we, we can send a JTAC to coordinate with ground personnel and uh, so they can serve as a ground controller and communicate to the aircraft in the air. Um, at the very base, we can do aerial resupply, reconnaissance, command and control type operations. Okay. So, like, I prepared a copy uh, lat longs. Okay. Go. It's Bill Grace from Northeast Kansas. Okay. 36 degrees. Correct. 48. 49.44 North. Suzanne. Okay. Longitude. 114 degrees. Uh, uh, stop one moment, and there's just a lot of beeping going on. Can you start over with the uh, longitude, please? Uh, lati latitude. Okay. 36 degrees. 48, 49.44 north. Okay. Longitude, 114 degrees, 13, 47.31 west. And the, the, that location is one mile north of where the compound is. Okay, uh, let me uh, read that back to you. 36 degrees, 48 minutes, 49.44 north, 114 degrees, 13 minutes, 47.31 west. Yes, and the, the compound is located one mile south of that location. Okay, is that a statute mile, you think? Sure. Okay. It's right, right next to the, to the highway, so it, you can't, they won't be able to miss it. Okay. All right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get some pictures to you. Uh, I don't know how we'll get them to you, the email or text message, whatever works. I don't know what kind of phone you've got. But uh, just so I, I've heard a couple people kind of wondering who I am and what we do. We're, the, we're a, an air wing unit, just, uh, just like you guys, except we play with airplanes. That's really all it is. Um, Excellent. We are uh, uh, not members of the Utah State Militia, but we do uh, joint uh, training activities. Uh, at least, you know, they do the ground stuff, we do the air stuff, and we've kind of separated from that perspective. But, you know, we're just no different from any militia under the, you know, Posse Comitatus Act uh, up here in Utah. We do have um, aircraft assets in other states, but, you know, they're really under the direction of their local militias or, you know, whatever their prerogative is, and we just simply provide training and infrastructure. Um, you can find us on Facebook. We do have a website. Uh, we do a lot of search and rescue activity for sheriff's associations just to keep us sharp, but uh, uh, that's, that's about it. We'll go, we'll go take some pictures tomorrow for you and see what we can get to you. Yeah, and if you can get me a rep, if you can get me a, a liaison from you guys right here on the ground with me, that would be fantastic. Yeah, a word of caution, not to interrupt. I got a question. Uh, one sec. Hold your question for one second. Uh, the uh, 
the air, excuse me, do you have a JTAC liaison that you can send down here to uh, uh, to be with us yeah, on the we, ground? Yeah, yeah, we will. If you know, quite candidly, in, you were getting into a, and some of the guys from Texas mentioned this early on in the call. You get into a situation where you cross state lines and you lose the the the, the protections that the Constitution provides. For example, I'm a citizen of Utah. If I cross over into Nevada. I'm no longer a militia man. I'm a criminal, and that's uh, that's something that we're going to be aware of. So we would, you know, we we can work something out. We do have um, a, a JTAC asset that's a Nevada resident up in Elko, Nevada, quite a bit north of where you guys are, and we can see if he can get down there. But uh, it's well, a you know, bit and, of a and I want to I want to I want to clarify that because that, that's a you're somewhat correct and you're somewhat incorrect. The the Bundys have specifically called for assistance. They they are not getting the assistance that they need from local or state or any type of law enforcement. Okay, and uh, you're when you come here, you are coming as a free citizen responding to the call of another free citizen in that capacity. And that and that is what I, I'm coming from. I'm here from Montana. And uh, well, and you they, know, we're they're, we're more than happy to provide. You know, before anything gets escalated to a point where shots are fired, we're more than happy to provide, you know, any kind of relief operations. We've got disposable parachutes. We can drop up to, you know, hundreds of pounds of water, supplies. Uh, and then when the time comes, you know, uh, you get into martial law scenarios, you know, we're fully prepared to, to deal with the consequences at that point. But, uh, you know, there's we're just not really willing to uh, to, to make the sacrifices until then. I'm sure everybody's going to be pretty close to the same page as far as that goes. Um, but I've, yeah, I've seen I, you text no, I'm very aware that there's a lot of people not willing to number. make the sacrifice. To, I, I'm yeah. willing there's not a lot of people willing to make the sacrifice because I'm here. Yeah, well, I got you, brother. And you know, we did have an airplane do a flyover this this afternoon, but we we just didn't. We I don't think we 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 went over the right area. I've sent you a text message, so you should have my contact information. Okay, uh, then who, what's the other gentleman that had a question? When you get those pictures, are you going to post them, or, or how, how do we as uh, people that are going up there, how do we get a hold of those pictures so we have aerial photographs? Well, of course, you know, yeah. the one thing about, you know, we can, we can set up a, a Twitter feed so that uh, interested folks can uh, utilize the information. Um, at some point, we're going to need to get a little bit more organized and coordinated so communications are tight. Uh, we're, we're just not there yet, so we're more than happy to just share everything we've got. Um, I'll just work through this gentleman. I didn't catch his name, but I've got, I did copy his phone number. I've sent him a text, and, and uh, we'll get the information to him, and then it'll be you know, uh, under his direction since he's on the ground. What uh, what he asks us to do with it, but we have the infrastructure to post on the web or Facebook or even Twitter feeds, so we can do that as well. What is your Facebook yeah, page? If uh, if you go on Facebook and just do a search for Gadsden Air Corps, like Colonel Gadsden from the you know, Revolutionary War, Gadsden Air Corps, and, and it's Corps with uh, like the Marine Corps with a C O R P S. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you brought up, I, I somebody brought up a good that. point. Here's that gentleman's name is Ryan, so I can follow up. Ryan, what's your, what's your last name, sir? Payne, P-A-Y-N-E. Like, like John Wayne? No, uh, he is in Papa, Alpha, Yankee, November, Echo. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm not as tied into a lot of the organizations, but I definitely want to follow up. Okay, are there any more questions? Yeah, I do have a question. I do got one. My question would be the legality of uh, people coming in from places like New York, Chicago, all the rest of that. Yeah, I, I, you know, we can we can dispute uh, all day. It could be a totally totally different phone call, and it could go on for hours about the legality. Call of it a vacation, and that simplifies the legality of it. 
right. the, the, the Constitution was written with the notion that the people are sovereign, not the state, not the federal government. The people are the sovereign. So get that, get that firmly into your heart and do what you feel you want to do. In other words, if you have get there and get your butts over there. I do got a question about the uh, air support guys. What kind of camera do you have to take pictures if you do do it? Come on, we're well, guys, we're not well, we're just wasting our time here. Yeah, you know we, we don't need, really need to get in. We just have gyro stabilized long range cameras. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, get in contact with them privately if you want that type of info. Are there any more okay. questions for me? Uh, I have a question. Yes, sir. Louisiana, this is uh, Bopper 6 from Louisiana Citizen Guard. Um, someone had mentioned that uh, local law enforcement had talked about uh, arresting out-of-staters. Uh, did, they, did they make any mention as to what charge that they would be charging out-of-staters with? No, I, I haven't heard anything related to any charges that, that they're talking about. I was that was a rumor that the National Guard was doing that. It was this is okay. Thank you. John, this is John from the Central Kansas Militia. I'm the commander. Hello. Hello, sir. I didn't hear what he said then. I have a question. Free citizen, and you are going to help another free citizen. You can cross. And um, yes, sir. Go ahead. You, uh, you have the uh, capabilities for air in other states. I'm in central Illinois, and I'm a certified private pilot. Uh, is there any way you guys in the you know near area have you know, contacts? Like, you know, a hundred miles or so. But uh, is there anybody? Are you asking if there's any place to land within the area within a hundred miles? I mean, I can fly pretty far. You know, at least you know a hundred a hundred miles between refuels. Uh, do you have any local area, you know, bases in the Illinois area uh, that I could rock My name is Jay people. Cook. I'm calling from Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. Go ahead. I, I think you Indiana, was did you want to chime in there? Uh, no, I was, uh, I was told to announce myself once I uh, was on the call. Uh, 10-4. Uh, so... Central Illinois, you're requesting a uh, landing strip in Illinois or in Las Vegas, or in Vegas? No, I, I'm in Central Illinois, and I he said that he had uh, other air contacts in other states, um, and I and I was thinking for future use, you know, in current conditions, uh, if if they had any contacts. Uh, within the local area that I could do with. I, I do in, uh, you know, pilot aircraft. That's all I want. 10-4, uh, I'd actually like to stay in touch with you. Uh, I'm in northwest suburbs of Illinois, and uh, I could definitely use your services in the near future. Definitely. I understand there's a lot of people on this call. Uh, I don't know how many people are coming uh, from farther away than I uh, like I say, I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, I had plans to take a trip uh, actually to Colorado this week. Uh, however, I think uh, there's a possibility those uh, uh, trip plans are going to change because this is absolutely, totally, completely unacceptable, and uh, it must be stopped at all costs. Is that you, G? Absolutely. For the people that don't have rides or that do have rides that are traveling there, Facebook page is called Patriot Railroad. Get on there, um, and you can coordinate. Um, you can coordinate rides with other people in, on that site from state to state. Yeah, and uh, I, I want to stress. Uh, All right, I you guys joined the group. The fence sitters. Well, go ahead. Watchmen away. Now every state needs to stand united. It needs to stand as a sovereign first. We need our governors to get a handle on on state, on our sheriffs. Get all of our sheriffs checked out. Make sure they're three percent. Make sure they're oath keepers. For starters, sheriffs 
need to go and inspect our police officers. Then, as a, as a sovereign state, we also stand together as the United States. Now, Mr. Bundy has invited people to his ranch. That's an invitation. I understand that the organized militias need to stay in their state, and organized militias are not allowed to go. The police say that they're going to arrest basically guests of an American citizen. That's just crazy. We can't let this happen. What happened to the bikers and the truckers? Why can't they show up? Because of San Philly? San Philly well, and, 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 uh, I'm curious about something, and that's, that's one of the uh, questions that I would like to raise, is I'm an American Legion rider out of Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, as a member of the American Legion, um, you know, I took an oath to uphold the Constitution, and I think that uh, I'm very curious as to what the American Legion posts in Nevada are like and uh, why they are not involved in, uh, in helping to uh, make a stand here. I'm an uh, American Legion rider, and, uh, I mean, this is the kind of thing that I do on a daily basis. So I'm very curious why those people haven't been contacted. I'm not sure, uh, you know, what the status of that organization is in Nevada. Yeah, and... And I don't have any information on that, per se. Uh, what I can say is, as far as what the response is, uh, to people that are, that are standing here, we've probably seen, you know, numbering in the uh, mid-hundreds as far as protesters go, okay? But as far as guns, now, some of the protesters also have their guns with them, but they're not, they're not taking a stance uh, with the militia that has that come together, Okay. But I mean, the bottom line is the governor is the governor is in control of the uh, of the state militia, which is the National Guard. Uh, the governor should activate the National Guard and and, and defend this family from uh, the tyranny that the federal government is trying to befall upon them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And but as okay. we all know, the, uh, the they're never going to do that. No. No, what they'll probably do is they'll wait till enough of us show up, and then they'll, uh, you know, activate the National Guard to try to control us. Yes, yes. Yes. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, guys, I got a question. Here is something to consider. If everybody mobilizes and goes to another state, if a state of martial law is declared, who is going to be behind to protect the state that we are originally from? I, I don't believe that. Na- yeah. I don't believe that uh, martial law would be declared nationwide. Martial law might be declared in that small area where we're occupying. I yeah, they don't have the capability to declare martial law nationwide. If, if something uh, was to happen there. Um, I believe, and this is just my personal opinion, Patriots, Patriots would stand up across the nation. It would happen. Well, it's very, it's very interesting to me and, uh, and dismaying uh, that people are not willing to stand up for people's rights until there's dead Patriots laying on the ground. I agree. I agree with that comment. Uh, most well, of the time, people aren't even willing to stand up for people's can rights then. Can Redneck say something? <laughs> Okay, can I get a question, please? Can Redneck address this martial law being declared nationwide? Uh, let's, let's get off the martial law thing, guys. I don't know what, what, where you're going with that. Okay, yeah, listen I, I up don't... for a minute. Listen, listen up. There was 30 million hunters last year bought hunting licenses in 2013. 30 million hunters. That doesn't include landowners and family members. Okay, you cannot declare martial law nationwide because 30 million hunters alone is the largest army in the world, not including the fact that 85 million gun owners own 10 guns or more. Please do not even say about declaring martial law nationwide. It cannot be done. There's no army big enough. Okay, guys. If I, I, that is correct. I, don't I have also time to I concur about what, what the possibility is here nationwide. That's why the Japanese did not invade the United States during World War II, because there would be a gun behind every blade of grass. That is correct. Okay. Hey. Hey. hey hold on a sec, guys. I, I 
I have things to go do. If uh, if there's not any more questions, then I'm going to get off the Hi. call. Ryan, I got one thing for you. Where is it? Go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, I just wanted to I just wanted to verify your uh, phone number first. Uh, I, I have a four zero six five six zero three five zero four two five zero four two five zero four. Okay, and second, um, uh, what I know you're busy out there. What's the possibilities of getting a uh, uh, maybe just a, a daily uh, salute report for uh, commanders um, going out there? Yeah, I. I pass everything that I have on to Jerry Bruckhart, uh, who, who puts it all on his Facebook page, and he is also updating it through our email contact list. So if you want to be put on that email list, then uh, get it over to Jerry Bruckhart, okay? And uh, mm -hmm. I just, as I said, we don't have that the, enough structure here. We definitely don't have enough people to, uh, uh, to have all the social media and all that stuff going on at all times. I try to answer as many questions as I can. Absolutely. Well, is there okay. anything? Is there anything on, I can do that can right possibly away. help? Oh, you're walking on a show. Uh, I, I, I also, I, I have a question I'd like to ask, if possible, before you hang up. Yes, sir. Uh, what is David. the? Uh, what are the options on lodging in the area? Uh, we we have uh, three different campsites that are that are secured, and we have authorization to use all of them. One of them is on the Bundy Ranch. Another one is about two miles down the road near where the uh, the protests are taking place, and another one, is, uh, excuse me, yeah, another one is uh, uh, at another point where protests are taking place. So we we do have three different camping spots. Um, we have provisions at those spots. We have food. We have water. Excuse me. We do not have food yet. We're we're waiting to see what the response is going to be before we get. Food I, I'll bring my own food. Good about I'll bring my own that. food. Uh, that, that's my second secondary question. Is uh, what else should I bring with me? Okay, we we have water for 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 the units that arrive. Two thousand gallon water truck, and uh, there's a ton of uh, bottled water. Uh, that's staged here, palletized. We we also have uh, support that said they can bring us more food and water. We have porta potties. We have dumpsters. Uh, that that's what the camp. Actually, that's not what I meant. Down. Actually, that's not what I meant. I'll bring my own food and water. Well, if you're if you're asking me a question as to whether you're, you know, the call has gone out to every able-bodied American. OMA put out the call to all militia and individuals. So. The goal here is to let me put out three objectives. These are the objectives that Operation HLA has put together with Clive and Bunny. Okay? And the first one is to secure, to ensure the security of the family and all of the protesters that are present. So basically, to ensure the security of the public. The second one, second objective, is to secure the, the public lands that have been blocked off by the BLM and uh, re make them accessible to the public once again and secure the avenues of approach into those public lands so that they can get in there. Okay. The, the third uh, objective is to return the stolen cattle to Mr. Bundy and, and work with him on that. So we need reconnaissance for that and we need uh, a, an actual physical effort to get those cattle back and, okay, and let me, let me the just... operation is going to continue now. Let, let me just ask the, the question, uh, you know, frankly, instead of beating around the bush, uh, should I come there armed? Yes. Bring all your, yes. bring everything yeah. that you need in order to meet those objectives if that's what you're, what you're coming here for. And, and let me put it yeah, this that way. Yeah, that would be the only reason that I would it's, come, so. Absolutely. Then bring everything that you need in order to operate. Can I ask a question? Yes, please go ahead. Um, I'm seeing reports that people who are coming in with out-of-state plates are being arrested. There's been some order to do so. Can anybody confirm or deny that? We still have 28 people. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have Well, if they came and they got arrested, I bet you nobody knows. Okay. I'm just right. asking because I don't have any confirmation of it. Okay, I just, I don't like disinformation, and I'm seeing a whole lot of crazy stuff, so. 
the question you ask is, is, is kind of a concern of mine as well, coming from Indiana. However, I can't imagine they're going to stop people from going to Vegas. So it might really uh, depend on the route you decide to take. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I, I've i seen that there were people arrested earlier in Overton. I'm not really sure what that was about, and now I'm seeing this happening. So. Okay. The people that I would, what I would recommend is, is, as I plan to do, is I'm, I'm going to take a route that is not a direct route. I'm going to look like I'm going to Vegas on vacation, and I'll show up. <laughs> Good plan. Good plan. Well, y'all just all be safe, please, and go armed, for God's sakes. All right. Uh, this is the host. This is Brian. Um, I wanted to make a quick announcement. I just decided, based on what you just said, I would like to um, continue recreating this exact room. I'm going to leave this as open as often as long as possible. If you guys want to use this as a communications hub and resort for the next, let's say, week, I'll do the best I can to keep this running online. Um, I think you guys might want to keep passing that out to other people so that if they've got a place or need a place to go to to communicate with others to stay on the same page or if you want to direct somebody, hey, you know, these are guys live boots on the ground. We've been running the conference call for a few days now. You know, make sure Richard Mack sees this. Let's get him in here. You know, instead of seeing what the media is feeding us, we're creating it here live. So I just wanted to put, point that out. And uh, if you guys want to grab some pens, um, for those of you that showed up late, we started this at, uh, what was that, 8 o'clock Central? So I want to give you a playback phone number, so if you've got a pen handy, you can actually rehear the uh, entire entirety of this uh, whole conversation. Um, the uh, area code for that is also 559-726, this is the prefix. The number you called today was 1300. To hear the playback is 1399. So you'll have 559-726-1399 in order to hear this call all over again um, throughout this entire predicament. Uh, there's an audio key here I'm supposed to give you guys. It's uh, pound 9188 and then pound again for the uh, playback. So jot down pound 9188 pound to go ahead and get your uh, feedback on that. All right, guys? So I'm going to go ahead and unmute this conversation. You guys have been really cool, being really polite as we can. Uh, I'm going to ask again, if you've got kids crying in the background, if you need to eat a bag of chips, if you're uh, in a stormy wind uh, on a boat or a helicopter, could you please mute yourself out and press uh, star six. That will mute you out temporarily. If, uh, if you're trying to talk or if you're just there on hold and you hear in your earpiece that your phone has been muted, that's me doing that because I'm getting feedback from you. Um, if you really need to talk, you can call back, chime right back in, and it will release that for you. But uh, I'm going to mute you out if you're causing a lot of feedback. Uh, hey, Ryan, I just wanted to say personally, I really appreciate you doing this, man. Um, hopefully you and I can, you know, make some communications outside of this uh, past this point. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unmute the conversation, and the uh, floor is yours, brother. 